Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to replace a hard drive inside an HP Compact 6200 Pro small form factor. It's easy enough to remove the cover as you can see. Then we got the front panel that has three little tabs at the top uh, that we needed to remove. That will then allow us to open up this bay and get access to the hard drive, which is underneath the DVD drive. So first we're removing the data and power cables for both the hard drive and the DVD drive. Without removing the power cables for the DVD drive, we're not going to be able to get access to the hard drive. And the hard drive actually needs to come out from the top. So we have to remove the DVD out of the case first. With the DVD out of the drive, then we should be able to easily just move the or slide the hard drive out. But I'm having trouble in this case. You're supposed to just push down on this lever and then the drive slides out. However, it was stuck in there really tight with those little rubber grommets in the screws. That's supposed to just slide up and or up and out. I guess however you want to word that. But anyway, I had to just take a screwdriver at it as you can see here to both sides removing the screws and then the drive's going to be able to easily slide out. Even with that, with the screws removed, it's a little bit tight as you could tell trying to remove that. But anyway, we're replacing that old drive with this brand new solid state drive. Of course, we need to use a bracket in order to have that connect in here because this particular case doesn't have a spot for an SSD to connect directly. So of course you gotta read the fine print, remove the sticker out of the way before you can use it, and then attach your solid state drive to the metal bracket. The bracket comes with four screws that uh, allow you to screw the SSD to the bracket and then there's another set of screws that allow you to attach it into the case but we're not going to be using those other screws in this case because this has a special way of connecting with the uh, other screws that you saw earlier that I had to remove. So I did try initially to put these things in here, but then I realized how it was giving me such a problem before and I couldn't get this back in for the same reason I couldn't get it out in the first place. So I just slide it in here first and then I'm gonna screw the screws into it afterwards. And once that's screwed in place, then I can attach the power and data cables. However, I'm noticing a problem with the data cable for the drive here. And if we zoom in, you can see it's actually broken on the end and it just feels a little bit stiff. So I'm gonna remove this cable and replace it with a brand new one. Now that I got the hard drive or solid state drive installed, I gotta install the DVD drive back into the case and it just drops into place with the screws lining up and it goes down and forward and locks in place. Then I can reconnect the data and power cables for the DVD drive. And of course I'm going to want to tuck those cables away nicely so they're out of the way and don't get pinched or anything when I get this pushed back down into place. And then we're ready to put the front bezel back on 
and you want to make sure that you have that on the right way before you force it in place because if you look close enough here I got it the wrong way at first thinking it's gonna line up and I'm looking for the tabs to line up and it just is backwards anyway once you have it on the right way you just line up the tabs at the bottom and holding that in tight snap the top three tabs in place and you can uh, slap around there to make sure that it's in tight and check around the edges to make sure there's no gaps and then that's it we're ready to put the top cover back on and that's all there is to it I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye for now